Welcome to 3 Minute History with Mr Marr. Quick summaries about a range of different history topics. Today we're going to look at one of the most prominent women in Scotland of the 20th century, that's Elsie Ingalls. Not only was she involved in political campaigns such as getting women the right to vote, she's perhaps most famously remembered for her medical role. Elsie Ingalls was born in India in 1864. Her father worked in the civil service, although the family themselves were from Edinburgh. And when Elsie was 14, in 1878, the family returned to Edinburgh after her father had retired. On moving to Edinburgh, Elsie enrolled at the Edinburgh School of Medicine for Women. This was a significant organisation to exist at the time, when women weren't expected to work as doctors. And having done this, in 1892 she qualified as a doctor. At first she worked in London and was appalled by the poor conditions that she saw in hospitals. Indeed, she believed that it was essential that women were much more involved, indeed should actually be running, the hospitals and medical practices around the country. In 1894, she returned to Edinburgh and working with another female physician, she established her own medical practice. This was followed up ten years later in 1904 by setting up a maternity hospital for the poor people of Edinburgh in the High Street. Elsie is certainly remembered for her medical work, but she was prominently involved in the suffrage campaign as well for women to get the right to vote. This had been tied to her medical experiences. She believed that one of the reasons that healthcare, especially women's healthcare, received so little attention was that women didn't have the ability to influence the government. As such, she became a notable campaigner and speaker. And from 1906 to 1914, she was Honorary Secretary of the Scottish Federation of Women's Suffrage Societies, working with many other suffragists around the country. Perhaps the reason she's best remembered, though, is her World War I work, which in fact is tied to the suffrage campaigns. She argued that women had to be seen to play a prominent role in the war, and as such, she set up the Scottish Women's Hospital for Foreign Service. At first they offered their support and assistance to the British government, but were declined. In fact, Elsie was told to go home and sit still. Instead of this, therefore, she approached the French government and they accepted. She established hospitals in France and Serbia, and she herself went to Serbia. During that time, in fact, she was captured by the Germans, although was later returned to Scotland. On her return to Scotland, though, she set about taking action to set up a hospital in Russia, which she would later do. By 1917 she was growing ill, suffering from cancer, and she returned to Britain and died in the November of that year, shortly after her arrival in Newcastle. She has a variety of memorials found to her all around the world, not least in Serbia, where even in 2020 they continue to name new hospitals after her.